she can get out there and walk right now. There I'm, you go. I'm grounding. I'm grounding. <laughs> Seriously, you have been in that position all morning. All morning, I'm stuck. Can someone help me? Uh, if you really want to ground, you know what? You go outside to the park, okay? Take your shoes off, put yeah. your feet in the grass. Yep. A lot of people That's, do that. A lot of people mm -hmm. do that. So here's the deal. Earthing. And you can do that right now. We have got another beautiful day. You want proof? Look over my shoulder. So pretty in the city. We are going to see some very nice conditions for the remainder of the afternoon. Reading in the park right now, 72, partly sunny. It is so nice. Now, definitely more humid. We are dealing with more humidity. That's going to be the order of the day the next few days. A little warmer than it was yesterday before we see some variation. By the time fall rolls in this weekend, definitely cooler with that humidity staying high. It's, it's, it's a much more active scenario over the next few days. Have you noticed? I sure have. I hope you're not struggling with this. Man, oh man, I've been sneezing like you wouldn't believe. Grass and mold are way up there. So I want to make sure you are ready for that. UV is a five. This is another serious caveat must share because we have dangerous rip currents for all of our beaches, at least the ones facing the ocean. It's because we've got all of this energy that's heading our way. From the beach to baseball, I think the Mets are going to be fine tonight. The Mets might get a little wet tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow things change. Again, a real quick snapshot. We've got this mix of sun and clouds, more clouds than we have seen. Here comes a developing low. There's another low over my shoulder. That's bringing more rain to the Smokies. Still persistent heavy rain for parts of the Carolina coast. Two models I want to share. A short range, high resolution model brings in a little little moisture tomorrow morning. Some of this evaporates before it hits the ground. Please, please, please remember initial rain on roadways that have been so dry so long will be very slick. Notice how we see this fill in in the afternoon. Notice the focus is south and east. Again, it's this pinwheel. That's going to be the order of the day into Wednesday night. But remember, we have this low back and forth. I know you're getting very sleepy. Here's the deal. Watch what happens Thursday morning. We've got another round, and then Friday morning could also be somewhat problematic, and that's going to be the case Friday night into the first part of the weekend. So there's, there's, there's a lot of variety. I mean, it's not going to, you know, really slow you down that much at all tomorrow morning, but watch out for some rain over the next few days. Back to you guys.